Hey everybody, welcome to the Patty G Show. I'm your host, Patty G. We are back for an exciting episode of the Patty G Show. This week, we've got Roderick with the Picture Booth, a component of entertainment added to both corporate and personal events. If you've seen a 360 video on Instagram in the Louisiana area, you have likely seen his tech at work. He provides this capturing set of devices, whether it's a picture booth, 360 camera, or now a really cool swing boom arm, documenting and just bringing your guest footage to life. He has a phenomenal story, and the services that they provide to the city and to the state are just next to none. Really excited to have him on the show. Before we get to that, however, I want to give a big, wonderful shout-out and thank you to the amazing folks that bring you this show each and every week. Belia Real Estate, Lakeman's Health Center, Horizon Financial Group, and Gage. Y'all, these partners, they make this show possible each and every week. We love them. We enjoy working with them. And cheers to many more. But in the meantime, enjoy the show. What y'all do at Picture Booth is like you have to have a service that right. people are going to remember. Absolutely. The photo or the end product could be a little grainy. It right. doesn't matter. It's what did they feel like going through exactly. that. Exactly. experience it's it's the experience and uh the customer you know customer and experience and um it's i i can easily say you know there's tons of photo booths and mm-hmm. they all we all do different things um but i think that that's where we'd like to take it not up a notch you know from the user um customer experience from the moment they uh they inquire you know mm-hmm. until after the event so uh, we try to keep it high the whole time and just bring a lot of energy. So, so what is what is that process? Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so normally, you know, people just check out our website. A lot of our, a lot of our referrals come from um, actually social media, um, Instagram, Facebook, most, mostly Inst- Instagram, and then um, referrals, uh, personal referrals that you've seen us at events, um, and. So they'll inquire through us. They'll either, you know, message us or go through our website, which is a great funnel. Um, and then so we, you know, we, tr- we try to get to them within within an hour. Y'all are quick. Uh, within an hour. When I, when, yeah. I, when, I, when I slid into y'all's DMs, y'all were quick. <laughs> yeah. It was like yeah. it, a few yeah. hours at right. max. I mean, well, it was at 4 a.m. So I oh. expected a little bit of a delay. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's the thing is, like, um, if if – they inquire and they're looking for somebody and you don't respond. They, they, you know, some people just move on to the next. And um, you know, so we want to make sure that we, you know, customer experience is the first thing that, you know, oh, wow. And that, that's a lot of the emails that we get or the uh, messages that we get. But, wow. I didn't expect you to get back that quick. <laughs> and so um, and then from the the we try to stay um, in communication the whole time. Um, Whenever leading up to the event, you know, we, we talk to planners, we talk to whoever's hosting it. Um, we even coordinate with some of the other vendors because um, sometimes we'll work with different vendors. Um, if it's a backdrop or just um, like different, you know, different avenues, we, we, we all collaborate. So, you know, we start, we try to stay communicating with them. And so, you know, we're, all, we're always in that email chain. Um, and then we all, we, uh, you know, communication really is, is big, big key. So we'll stay communicated throughout the process. When it's the event, you know, we show up hours before, you know, make sure we talk to everyone there. Um, the planners, the mother, the bride, and, um, if, if it's a wedding and then, you know, when everyone comes in, we bring that energy make them feel welcome, you know, greet everyone with a smile, you know, engage with them. Um, and then after the event, you know, we thank them for you know, having us. And then kind of, we do a little something special afterwards. <laughs> oh, so, you know. the, what's, what's the, what's the, uh, the, well, the you secret know, sauce at the well, end? Uh, I mean, we, we, we try to give them a little, you know, little gifts on, on thanks and just a little here and there. <laughs> uh, don't want to give too much, but yeah. I, get it, I got it. I got it. I got um, it. But yeah, we you know, we, we try to do that little extra, yeah, um, just so they can remember us, and then we get referral from that. Yeah, so. well, and the the extra step, regardless of the size, goes a long way. Right. I mean, in any business, right. whether whether it's 
y'all specific business where you're so interactive with the client mm-hmm. or some that you are hands off, but then at the end you say, Hey, thanks so much for doing business with us. Right. You know, like just a little token of appreciation. That, that's that's, that's such a long way. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and even with, with corporate events, um, you know, we, we've talked to, to planners or even some national companies, you know, we, we try to, you know, after the event, hey, if there's anything else you need and, you know, oh, did you get your, did you get your gallery? Did you get everything that you needed? Um, we make sure that we build those gaps um, that they're taken care of. You know, that's our biggest focus. And yeah. anytime we hire, that that's the very first thing is customer service. Um, how can, how can they be, what will we do to make them remember us? Right. So, so how, how did you get to this spot? How did you? Oh man! How did we get here? What's <laughs> the story <laughs> leading up to? Oh gosh! Sitting well, in the chair. Oh well. Uh, I mean, I've I've always been into um, taking pictures, taking video. Uh, I mean, as a kid, you know, my dad always had the latest technology. He had the big camera that was on the shoulder. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I'm always a, I was always a uh, uh, tech junkie. So anything tech that I'm I always had my hands on. Um, you know, he had he gave me the first uh, Zach Morris phone. You know, like always, <laughs> that big block phone. Oh, the, I, I think my parents still have one. Of oh, yeah. now it's a toy. But right. I'm like, this you couldn't not put this in your pocket. Exactly. Or they made bigger oh. pockets back then. Like I just don't get it. Oh yeah, I I had those. So I was like, I've always wanted electronics, and uh, yeah. So anytime we went somewhere, you know, we'd have the camera, and um, it was just part of, you know what I had and, and then whenever camera phones it was just like oh I click away and then I would take those and then I would even like you know make it somewhat artistic and I'd put those on the wall and print them out put them on the wall and I mean not a Facebook wall like a real life right, wall? Like, like an actual wall <laughs> <laughs> yeah um and then you know over the years um so what got me into like photo booths um my cousin had uh he had a he was working for someone in in Houston and this is in 2014. Yeah, 2014. Like, oh, this is pretty cool. And But it was very big and bulky. It's like, well, I didn't know a lot of people around here that had anything like that. So, um, I, you know, we, we kind of looked into it. Um, I, you know, as a side gig from, um, from what I was doing in, at the time. And, um, yeah, it... What was your full time gig at the time? So actually, I'm a, a registered nurse. Okay. Yeah, as a licensed registered nurse, I don't do it anymore. <laughs> I was about to say that's a bit. <laughs> right. a polar opposite here. It, 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 it is. I mean, if you're sitting there in a camera in a, in the patient's room, <laughs> right. they might be asking questions. Right. Right. <laughs> I mean, even then, it's just like you know, um, it, a lot of that I relate to do what I do now is you know, customer service. Uh, right. So that kind of plays into it. Um, but yeah, it's totally polar opposite it's, it's entertainment now but <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i mean i just started doing that as a side and then um during covid it was 21 um once everything started coming back i mean it, it was just go- exponentially growing like to where i was like okay this is this is a good spot i had every intention to um i'm not really where the entrepreneurship <laughs> came from but um i knew that's what i wanted to do uh, just like to have my own business and so like so you just had one single booth like what was the initial phase yeah. of yeah so uh we initially had one uh it was, it was made of uh, it was aluminum oh no actually i'll take that back the very first one was made of wood i built it myself oh wait you made it yourself yeah and that okay. was a lot of trial and error <laughs> a lot of uh <laughs> A lot of, you know, maybe a little cursing here and there. <laughs> well, that's part of building the business right. from the ground up. You oh, know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I built it um, made of wood and lighting. Even though I did, I didn't do like train for the photography, but, you know, the lighting, I had to find, you know, figure all that out. Um, and then did that for a couple and I was like, okay, this is way too heavy. So then we, um, I was able to purchase something that was a little bit, more compact, um, you know, more better grade aluminum um, that I could take to events. And uh, so that one booth turned into, oh gosh, three. And then 
different services now. So, I mean, we have different a number of things that we do now. So, yeah. So I want to go back to the to the wood. I'm fascinated <laughs> by this by this self made yeah. self contained wooden box. So, yeah. this was in the late 2019, the teens so or early 2020s? 2015. 2015. Okay, so it wasn't a easily purchasable item, at least Not, reasonably purchasable. Right. Correct. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, um, in in I thought about portability. Right, because uh, they had the big bulky ones. Everyone, I think, at the time, people knew photo booths as the ones you step in. Um, oh yeah, the yeah, big ones the big, in like the movie theaters and right, stuff like that, with right. the little curtain and yeah. the screen and everything. Yeah, and you definitely needed a truck for that. <laughs> so um, yeah, I was like, okay, what can we make it a little bit more mobile and a more open studio? Um, and so you know, built a, a box. It was on a tripod um, with a little um, scrim on it, just to kind of make it look good. Um, it worked out, you know, for, you know, to get us started, but, um, it aesthetically, it wasn't, you know, let's say it's it a big clunky piece. It, of wood, it, it right? was, it was. And then over time, um, you know, the type of events we started to do, you know, they, it was more aesthetically, you know, they wanted, they wanted something a little nicer. So, you know, we had to invest in that. And then from there, we kind of just, that's, that's where we kind of went. So what was the first gig you ever got? Oh, I would, well, first one was a wedding for um, a photographer friend of ours. Um, right. Yeah, um, Renee Loria. And uh, so we, yeah, that was our first gig. And it, looking back, the quality that we did like of just the images is like, oh, my gosh, it's nothing that we do now. Um, so was it like a stationary it, camera? No, or, it was or like actually. You were so taking was, the photos. What type of so, tech here? So the the box is yeah. it was actually now compacted. So the original box was probably about that big. Okay, on a tripod. That's, that's pretty big. Oh, yeah. so it sat on top on of top tripod. of a tripod. Okay. Now the screen was like this big, <laughs> and it was a computer screen, um, like just a regular, a regular monitor, regular okay. monitor wow. that you had to hook up to a computer. Okay, and then the lights were. Not, we didn't. Have, the LEDs weren't at the time, which is <laughs> and so it was the fluorescent uh, bulbs in there to kind of constant light, right? Um, and because flashes, strobe flashes weren't really big at the time, but then, um, so but that, all that was a learning process, you know. So, so, so you're sitting there with 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 it's <laughs> fluorescent bulbs, bulbs and a, a, a monitor. What was it a webcam or what was it? Was the a, it was actually a camera, okay? Yeah, it, okay, so they, um it was a, it's a Canon, I think it was a T2, Rebel T2. Yeah, um, so was, a, a yeah, normal photography normal, yeah, camera no, that was uh, hooked up to, to some it, to app it. or something. Yeah, so so it, it hooked up to the applications, and then um, behind all that, in the box, was a computer. And wow. Yeah, so and so you could think about the wood and then the computer. and every, So it's, it's bulky and That's heavy. That's a big box. Yeah, <laughs> so once... Um, I guess when, yeah, 2015, 2016 Surface Pros, the micro, you know, it's a, it's a thin computer and even iPad. Um, yeah, they was able to compact. They were light, and then you can hook those up to to a camera. So, e so even at that point in time, you were still building the casings uh, for this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and then so we got to compact to something like this. Got it. So we can you know basically way easier to uh, to maneuver and and all. Uh, to pick up. Welcome to the brand new Falaya mobile app. We took all the same tech that's helped hundreds of people sell their homes themselves and packed it into an easy to use app for your phone. When you download the Falaya mobile app on either the Apple or Android app store, you'll immediately be able to see the power of this game changing tool. From the seller's dashboard, you can navigate to all the information that you need. We intentionally separated everything into key groups, such as tasks to be completed, buyer leads for your listing, and contact information for everyone involved through closing. When you get an offer on your property, you can simply review and respond all within the app. No matter where you are in the world, you'll be able to monitor everything that's going on with your property from listed to sold. It's truly the power of Falaya in the palm of your hand. Download the app and see for yourself. Falaya, it's real estate reimagined. So, and then so we we take that to events. 
um yeah it was a wedding the very first one and then um crazy enough we uh our next event was actually the laberge um yeah. So you went straight from wedding to corporate. Right. Well, you, it was a mixture, which was great because uh, okay. one of our um, um, one of our friends worked there and was like, hey, we need someone with a camera. I was like, well, I mean, I have a camera, but I have this thing that prints automatically. And uh, it's like, okay, that's great. Let's do it for a VIP event. And so we brought it. Um, and it was a lot more compact. <laughs> right, right. Uh, still had a lot of stuff. That, you know, uh, we had we have printers that print you know, within 10 seconds and um, on site. So, um, yeah, we brought all that. And, yeah, that was that was pretty much our, our second event. Um, and, and we've been you know, we've been doing events with, with them for a while since. So, so now you got that that LaBerge contract. Yeah. Yeah. In. So, we, uh, yeah, we do um, event photography for them, too. So, okay. you yeah. know. So it's it's transitioned. So we started with you know, photo booths to, um, you know, event photography, a little bit of videography, more of photo entertainment, video entertainment. So okay. So what's what's the the difference? So if somebody's so, booking a videographer for a wedding, they're expecting one thing. So you know, we we don't. Uh, so we do video entertainment, which okay. is um, instead of you know taking pictures, we do video like interactive videos. So instead of you just stand in there. You're actually doing little. I wouldn't say TikTok, but like you're moving <laughs> and you're a, a similar. Oh, so like yeah. like within the uh, the um, 360. Realm. 360 okay. is one is 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 one of them. Um, and so we did um, a couple of weeks ago. We did the Mike Awards at LSU for um for the athletes, and we did a video where um it was on the track system, and you know they would pose like they're on the red carpet, and they just do a couple poses, and we would. We do it and slow it down, um, in within our program. Right. We do it at slow mo, and then they like flip their hair, and it's all. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we do stuff like that, and then we actually um invested in uh in a uh, robotic arm that you see on the red uh on like E. <laughs> oh yeah, the the big the, yeah. the same guy with yeah. all the, with all the hair that right, does the, right. the, yeah. the quick so slow motion shot. And that's going to be our our uh, our new thing. So we so we went from you know but with that so. right. So, what was the the next product or service that you offered after the photo booth? After I mean, the photo so, booth, so you started condensing this down. Yeah. You've got a slim product now. Right. You've got that thing functioning. Right. I mean, obviously, you've got these entrepreneurial wheels turning. Of like, right. we got to add something else, Absolutely. or was it a request? Um, no, we we pretty much just added something else. Okay. Um, everyone loved the prints and uh, the the big lighting and stuff like that, but then. People just wanted just photos that they can just because this is when you know Instagram really started blowing up and um, or social media. I, th- I, th- I think Snapchat was at the time too around that okay. area. Um, so they needed something that was um, digitally um, something that they can digitally upload quick. And so we we had our selfie booths um, that they can you basically take a picture and once once it's done. They enter their phone number or email, or um, and they get it to their phones like within seconds. Um, so that was the second part, and you know, that was that was a that helped us grow a little bit because we didn't have to necessarily have staff because you know for some parties they just wanted it there or um, again we were doing corporate so they would just leave them for their customers um, in little shops and boutiques and stuff like that so. So, so hang on, the corporate side, mm-hmm. even shops and boutiques. I mean, yeah. like you would have companies that say, come put your yeah. product in my actual store. Yeah. Was so, it for events or just like no. a normal? So um, it was for, um, can I name? Uh, you can do whatever oh, okay. you want, man. This is, this <laughs> well, okay, is your okay. show. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, Frock Candy, um, yeah. it was, gosh, I want to say this was in 2018. Frock Candy, um, you know, we they had a thing that they were doing for like um, Cinco de Mayo, but it was like a week long actually that was the very first one and so we we pile it, we we let them not sample it out but we you know we did one for them and they're like oh this is great well we have this we have a campaign that they want to do during the LSU season mm-hmm. and every week or every couple of weeks um they wanted to change the how you know LSU versus whatever and um and so we went to both stores and had it sitting there and um yeah, it, it was marketing for them. 
Mm-hmm. So, you know, people would just take photos, whether they were trying stuff hand. out, and, yeah. then, and then they send it and post it. And so that kind of got into the corporate side of it. So they had the machine for the whole week? Uh, they actually had it for about a few months. Okay. Yeah. So, so we had two at that time. So yeah. You, oh, so, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I, so that was it. So I had the, the, the regular booth at first. Right. Had two. Well, I bought one and then had another one. So, great. Now they need two. So, okay. All right. Well, let's go. So we had that there for three months. And that, again, that uh, allowed us to kind of grow a little bit a little faster than we wanted to. But, you know, um, yeah, it was in their store for quite some time and then now now we had three booths and then um and then we started you know doing a little bit more events being diverse so we started doing both um digitally and on-site printing um so and then 2019 2018 2019 is when we brought uh the uh 360 to baton rouge okay so um so how do you navigate that rapid of growth i mean because you it, it's almost like one company or a restaurant or something going from one location to two locations to three locations i mean if you're full yeah. and your booths are being rented for months right you can't do any other events right right that that was that was challenging um for sure um so what really got us is like okay we didn't want to do we didn't want to be a, um a quantity um, type company we didn't like just doing so much because mm-hmm. one we would compromise on quality and then that's a, a, a that was one of the very first things we want to make sure that we never compromise on quality and so um yeah we were able to uh, just kind of build from that and um it's just i don't know <laughs> it's just i mean it's easy when you i guess when you have multiple days weeks months contracts mm-hmm. locked in right right and and we it, it grew it did grow to where we we were doing things with labors more often and that helps and um you know there's different strategies on how to get long-term contracts but right um but it did it, it was growing pretty well every everything was in an upward you know yeah um but yeah that it, it was challenging but i, I was again I love tech, so I'm always like, okay, what what can we do next? Mm-hmm. How can we stay ahead of the curve? I mean, how can we bring it to Baton Rouge too? Um, you know, Baton Rouge kind of, or Louisiana kind of has a little um, little thing about being behind sometimes. Just <laughs> <laughs> and so you know, I, I want to be part of that, trying to trying to be ahead of the curve, mm-hmm. uh, or just bring curve with it. You know, try to stay up. Um, I think I think we were able to do that. Um, so, so what makes you want to bring Baton Rouge up, like bring bring the Baton Rouge up with the curve rather than going to where the curve is? Well, just 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 to have a better uh, you know, better image of Baton Rouge in Louisiana, you know? I think we get a lot of, uh, we have a bad rep, and again, we hear, oh, we've been doing this for years. Well, you know, um, I want, I, want, I mean, I've, I've been here pretty much all my life, and you know, I want to see Blossom and, you know, be successful and along with the, the rest of the country. And yeah, so, yeah. Um, and just, I just want to be part of that. You know, I want to, I want to see everyone succeed. So <laughs> well, and I love the reason I ask is as that mentality of it's not here, mm-hmm. right? The 360 you said right. you brought to, we'll get to in a minute. Um, recognizing in the market that there's a, a need for something, right? Mm-hmm. That it's not here. That you were at a wedding in in, in a Dallas or a different bigger city, right. Atlanta, and they had all these different tech at these events and right. whatnot. And seeing that, generally from a, a mass consumer standpoint, they're like, "Oh, well, we're just going to go where the tech is." Right. But for you to recognize, we don't have it here, which means there's an opportunity right. for me to fill that need in the Absolutely. market is huge. Absolutely. Yeah, and and then that's the thing is like you just don't see it anywhere and and that's a good way to keep people in keep people in um especially with when we do corporate um you know we've done some national stuff and those oh have you done this it, we're kind of limited to where you know 
a lot of people aren't aware of the um of the tech technology that we do yet mm-hmm. and so yeah you know, part of part of my job is to you know kind of let it be out there um and i think that would help you know with certain businesses on their marketing or their just being aware um you know it kind of brings business um, that's the way i like to look at it you know yeah yeah you're bring you're bringing a product that wasn't here before right. And you're helping everybody else step their game up. Absolutely. You're forcing everybody to step their game up. Well, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. (laughs) This episode is proudly presented by Gage. Gage is a local company here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. For over 40 years, Gage has provided businesses with the very best telecommunications, IT, and standby power services available. Gage has a variety of services, including Gage Cloud Voice. It is the last phone system your business will ever need. You need to give your business the ability to be accessible anytime, anywhere, and with Gage's cloud-based phone system, you'll be able to accomplish just that. Not only do they have Gage Cloud Voice, they have fully managed IT services that are proactive network monitoring, 24-7, 365, help desk, business, content, Continuity, they are there for you. What you're also going to need is some cybersecurity. Gage is there to safeguard your business from potential cyber threats, even when you aren't aware they exist. Gage also is power and leaders in standby generators. They are the number one Cummins dealer on the Gulf Coast and provide generators to homes and businesses of any size so you can keep life going. Gage, better connected, a proud sponsor of the Patty G Show. So tell me about this 360 thing. I've seen the videos. So, it looks really incredible, <laughs> by the way. Like so, it's just people are having a good oh, time, yeah. and it almost encourages a hype of a vibe right? Absolutely. at whatever event it may be. Yeah, so the 360, um, it's a little platform. It's probably that it's like this high off the ground. A lot of people think that you you actually spin, uh, but uh, with the liability, we we make the camera spin for, for them. So Good call. Um, <laughs> and so... They get on the platform. Um, we have a, um, a video camera, and it it spins. You know, depending, uh, it can be adjustable, but it spins pretty fast. And then what it does, it it slows it down uh, the video to a, a thirty second, yeah, twenty second video. So it spins pretty fast. Oh, wow! And then then we make it slow down, and you know we can we can add effects and you add music to it. Um, but yeah, it's just really engaging and immersive. Everyone loves it because um, they they can act stupid <laughs> and fun, and you know, and it's all being recorded. <laughs> right, it, it captures that moment. Yeah. yeah, in whatever event it may be. Oh, absolutely, and and then they're they're able to share it. Um, so, yeah. So did you build that one too? No, I did not. <laughs> I had that one built. Uh, that that one's a little you know past my uh, <laughs> my knowledge. So. Um, but yeah, that, that's been, yeah, we did it. The first one was, well, for, with LSU, um, we did a one back in, right before COVID, uh, a few months before COVID, but, um, and then we're trying to bring it to all the events and then shut down and, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's a great, you know, it now, you know, a lot of people have them, um, but we're able to, we're able to still maintain the quality um, the quality product as far as the output and the service for it. So, you know, it's, it's really more of a experience. So. so how did you first learn about that? I mean, because I learned about it by seeing people on Instagram here in Baton Rouge. So I probably uh, found out about it late, yeah. but obviously you were ahead of the curve. Yeah. Um, I have a network of people around the country that, uh, that I'm friends with. Uh, you know, we have a conference in Las Vegas every year. Um, and that's, you know, they have the latest technology, but that one, I mean, I have, a buddy of mine in uh, San Francisco, he he he's been doing it, and um, I was like, "That's pretty cool, you know." Let me bring this to here, and let's see how this takes off. And yeah, it 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 took off, and I, I think it, we keep it at a um, a high product, so you know we, it's not out every weekend, um, but because you know we, we try to main, maintain that quality output and experience. So on the personnel side, initially it was just photo booths, right? Mm-hmm. It, it was, you know, big bulky box, but it was self-contained, right. self-printing and all that stuff. Right. And then you got to the technology where they're able to get the videos and photos from their phone, text it to them. Right. This sounds a little bit more labor-intensive. It's 
It's a lot of behind the computer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, because there's a lot of back end work that a lot of people don't see. I mean, you see the the output, and that's mm-hmm. that's about as much as what people see. But there's a lot a lot of back end work that's involved. Um, whether it's design, making sure that um the processes are working. Um, you know, because when you're putting as you you put video together, it has to look seamless. Um, and um and lighting and all that. So, so we take video, you know, video and photography all together and to make it an actual, you know, something that they can see instantly. We put all that within seconds. So it so does it automatically now. It, it, it does now. Yes. Okay. Um, in the beginning it was like you had to piece it together, but now it's the technology. It's, it's just ramping up now. With AI, it's... You want to say you're using AI? What are you using? So a- AI is... Uh, we do have programs that does have AI experiences. Um, basically, like, we could be sitting here and then it'll look like we're, you know, at the beach. You know, we could, it could just... You, you take a photo and it changes and makes us somewhere else. And so, like, with a video, too? Uh, video, yes, actually. that Now, that that's one that's one of those ones where you really got to pay attention because it gets glitchy, mm-hmm. and then it, like, it, we can do background removal of video. Right. Um, but it, it's still a little glitchy. Um, but, yeah, that's something that, again, I'd love to just show it, you know, to everyone here, and um, you know, I'm just looking for the right events to do it. And, and that's more on the corporate side. You know. I was about to say, what what which way does it lean yeah, that's, to have the 360? The, that it, the 360 now are that that's pretty much for any event now. Okay. Um, I thought that weddings would do it more often, but from 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 our clients, it's it's not. Uh, our clients like they like a nice photo. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we used to we used to have props and all that, but now it's more of just just a nice photo that they can frame and um, you know. Uh, that they can share and yeah so now the 360s are a little bit different because it is just a video um so trying to communicate that to a wedding or um yeah the the wedding part is is harder to communicate the the value in that so we use that more for corporate yeah so when it takes a a pretty big space too it does it's it's about 12 by 12 space yeah that's a lot of real estate it is and you know we have lighting here here and then we have to block them off because you know people walk in the middle of (laughs) you know why that things uh you know i don't know if you saw that viral video that one time but person just walks in and it just smacks them right in the head (laughs) is that y'all oh no 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 (laughs) but that like a lot of people saw 360s from that and they're like oh that's what we want (laughs) it's it's crazy how social media especially in in that this particular industry can can take it to the next level absolutely i mean just because when people see that moment the 360 like in particular when they see that moment like oh my gosh that is so cool right but then I'm sure if you're watching as an outsider, you're like, this is kind of weird. <laughs> it, it, it is. It, it, it really is. And like that's and uh, that's the thing is some people like they'll stand behind like, what do we do? <laughs> and then for me, I'm like, please don't step off and uh, you know, get knocked, up, knocked out. So, yeah, it, um, when you're on it and again, there's different levels of uh yeah, energy. <laughs> you I was about to say, how, like, how, how do you ensure, you, like, because it's all about what they put into it yeah. is how the video is going to come out. So, what do right. y'all do so we, to make sure that there's like, is there music playing there? So, so we we play music. Uh, okay. It depends in, on the event, but we like to play our own music to kind of hype them up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we we tell them like, look, when this thing starts spinning, you know, start dancing, you know, have fun, and then you know, it is a little odd sometimes when there isn't music or they can't hear it. Um, but it, it's like 10 seconds of like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> but then when they see the end product, they're like, oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you ever have people be like, I don't know what to do. And then ha- step the, on there and then they step off and they go, oh, wait, I want to retry that. All I want to redo that. All the time. That. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like we we, we tell them like, uh, gosh, I mean, one of the favorites is the Mr. And Mrs. Smith where they kind of do of the course. little thing. And oh, yeah, that that's a lot of people do that. And not, you know, say you're you're a star. Why don't you? Just show your best, and you know they'll, you know they'll do stuff like that. So, I know, but it's it's, it's hard to get pe- everyday people to then get that star feel. It is 
when you have that level of technology. I mean, it's one thing for somebody to, to right. FaceTime one-on-one with someone, but then you tell someone, turn your phone around and film yourself. <laughs> right. It's totally, it, it it's a different feeling it is. when you're behind that camera right. for the first time. And it's that's, weird. That's why I think that interaction and, um, you know, and the engagement from us is very important mm-hmm. um, because you want to make them feel comfortable. And then, um, you know, because, yeah, I, even even when I get on there now, just like, like just testing, I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I do? <laughs> so I was like, you gotta bring the hype, man. I know. <laughs> it's like, oh, no one's here to kind of, <laughs> but yeah, I, I that that's why that that engagement, um, uh, and interaction is important, especially with something like that, because yeah, you're standing on a platform above everyone, and what do you do for ten seconds while this thing spins around? <laughs> so you know, we don't, you know, our team is always like, all right, do this now, right, now follow the camera. And I blow a kiss or, you know, mm-hmm. um, and some people, if they're a couple, do a twirl. I mean, platform is a little little, but, uh, yeah. Do you a know, tight twirl. A tight twirl. <laughs> so how do you train your staff to reciprocate that from what you do at events? Because now you're at the point where I'm sure you don't have just one 360, right? Well, we do just okay. because we don't do as many. Got know? it. Yeah. I mean, um, we, I'm, I'm sorry. We have, we have a, we have a, a larger one that. It's not being used much, so. Um, but, so what we do is, um, before we before they're fully on board on staff, we have them shadow. Um, and so I typically want them to see how I or whoever is training um, engage from the moment you, you arrive to the moment you leave and see how, how uh, everything's done and how you interact with the guests, each and every guest, you know, because you never know who that guest is, uh, that uh, that guest could be. So right. um, treat every guest like they are the star. Um, and then that's what I, you know, at every event, you know, I try to reiterate and, and we'll have, you know, quarterly meetings and, you know, kind of reiterate that because sometimes you know, it does fall short and that if it does fall short, that's, that's on my part, you know. Um, I want, I want to make sure that 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 is that we're keeping that standard up. So right, well, because for normal wedding or corporate photography, they're typically there to capture the moments that are taking place. Right. You know, they're there to ensure that it's documented. Right. People can look back at the wedding or at the corporate event and say, "Oh, that was such a fun time." Right. The activities we were engaging in were great. But when y'all show up on the scene, y'all are bringing an event. Right. Y'all are bringing mm-hmm. a component to whatever the celebration is. Absolutely. And so you can't just be there capturing and documenting. Yep. You have yep. to actually bring an element yep. to the function where people can be like, oh my gosh, that photo booth was so great. Yep. That 360 was phenomenal. You know, everything that made that bit to capture and create that content right. was super fun. Right. Anyone can stand there and just press a button. Exactly. Uh, exactly. You know, but not everyone. I mean, but you know, we want to make sure that everyone is engaged. Everyone feels special. Um, yeah, so that, that's our main focus. And, and like you said, it's almost like, uh, you know, the band, they get everyone engaged by being, being there. And so we're, we're just another form of entertainment, um, you know, engaging entertainment. So when it comes to weddings or even at corporate events, so. Well, yeah, yeah. especially at corporate events, you got to make people break out of their Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That, that one's, yeah, that, that's. (laughs) That one's tricky. <laughs> so we we got to know our crowd sometimes. <laughs> so how do you navigate that? Because you're you're working with two different crowds, mm-hmm. right? Your, your wedding crowd, people are there to celebrate, right. have a good time. They know going in the level of energy they have to bring to, right. the, to the event. Whereas at corporate events, some people may not even want to be there. Right. Other people were drugged there, and most people we're there just to show their just face show. and it's like, okay, whatever, you know, right. there, you don't really go to a corporate event expecting everybody there to be as hyped <laughs> as a wedding, right. you know, they could be hyped and have a lot of fun, but just, you have two different levels of experience, two different levels of energy. Right. And then when you're at each venue and at each event as a vendor, you've got to manage your expectations from your team because they have to be able to pull it out of people Absolutely. at a corporate event. And then at a wedding, make sure that they're sober enough to stand up. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So with yeah, with the corporate events, yeah, you kind of read the crowd. Um, 
and it's all it, it all varies uh and that's where you know i make sure that our team is okay look if it if if you're not taking photos like we got to make sure like we got to show value mm-hmm. so go in, go out there and engage hey look we got this thing going here um well, whether it's you know a uh, photo booth or 360 you want to come check, check it out and yeah we 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 go out there to bring him in okay yeah so um and that can be challenging sometimes um but now we've brought another element into it okay <laughs> is our um our selfie roamer so basically selfie roamer. yeah so basically okay. that's a photo booth that we hold and we go engage with you and the crowd. Okay, walk me through this. <laughs> okay. Because so, I'm picturing you like wheeling around so, a robot around a dance right. floor. So now. But I imagine it's not that bulky. It's, no, no, it's very it's very portable now. Okay. It's, just, it's probably about that big. Mm-hmm. Um, it's digital only. But we, we can do prints, but it will be a little bit more complicated. But, yeah, so we have, um, it's like our, our uh, digital booths mm-hmm. where you can text, same thing. But we actually, we have it on us. And, you know, if it's a big banquet hall or, um. You know, we go into the crowd and it's like, hey, do you want to take a photo? Uh, we go on the dance floor. They love it on the dance floor. Well, That's the one thing that, oh, yeah, now it's. Now everybody's this, singing into the camera. Oh, my They're gosh. It, it's I'm so sure. good. It's so good. We did one. Um, we did one with Royal Martin um, in Alexandria, and they had this huge the centennial event. Mm-hmm. And um, my crew went out there, and she was just in the middle of the crowd while they were dancing the band's going middle of the crowd taking photos and, and they were able to like you know, it has a big ring light on it so it. <laughs> and she was like the most popular person on the night <laughs> <laughs> they're like wait wait my friend uh i want to take a photo and yeah they were they were grabbing her in the middle of uh, middle of the event so, so is this uh, is it is it an ipad what's the so yeah it, it's a computer okay. yeah, um and so it has a ring light and yeah, we just take it to... And they can see themselves? They can see themselves. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. See, whenever they can see themselves oh, yeah. in the dance right. floor... We, we have the other ones that you can't... We can take it and then, you know, do it like that, but this one, it takes it up a notch. Okay, I was about yeah, to say... So they, they can see themselves and they're okay. all in it. I, lo- I love that. Because at first I'm thinking, like, <laughs> what are they just passing a GoPro right, around? Right, and walking yeah. around with a GoPro? Right, right, right. No, this one is... Uh, <laughs> now, anytime you can see themselves, and then um, my favorite is the light. It's... It's like flies. It's the ring light. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, like it's like they're like, oh look, it's light. <laughs> you know, it, it just attracts them. Especially, you know, in a dark dance floor. Oh yeah. You know, you see this ring light. You're like, what, oh, is, what that? is that? What is that? And they love it. Imagine taxiing on a plane looking toward the end of the runway. It seems so far away. It's even hard to see it. And that's what the concept of retirement probably felt like when you were in your 20s, 30s, and 40s, way far in the distance, not visible or even a concern. But as you turn 50, something happens. Retirement suddenly seems like something real, something not too far away. In your 50s, you are rolling down the runway. Retirement is getting closer and closer, faster and faster, weeks and months zipping by. But are you even ready for a successful takeoff to retirement? Fear not, there's still runway left, but the time is now. Time to make progress and time to get a plan. The Runway Decade will help you get organized, get energized, and give you the direction you need to take off to your desired retirement. The Runway Decade, building a pre-retirement flight plan in your 50s. So that's how we've 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 kind of transitioned or kind of made it more even more engaging for people that don't want to like go to the you know I don't, they don't want to wait in line or they don't want to they feel kind of uncomfortable like, hey, we'll, we'll, come, we'll come to you and if you feel like taking one mm-hmm. like it's just us right here or you get ticket to the dance floor and everyone wants to see it so <laughs> so and it's a video component as well so it does it does video as well so it does um it takes uh, still shots and then it also does. Uh, boomerangs you know little things yeah, where yeah, it, yeah. it loops around yeah and then or gifts things like that so so what 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 made you decide to add that service <laughs> so that one yeah was the element of what about the people that don't come okay um it's like we need to get to those people and and we've done events where you know we do have our stationary booth that you know does the printing and they stand in front of a backdrop 
Um, but there were, we noticed that there were a lot of people that were out there that, one, they didn't know that we were here because um, they, they never came out. And then um, the people that were just not as, you know, like, oh, I don't want to stand in front of a crowd or, or you know, out in the open, take a photo. So we'll, we'll, we'll go around and do that. So, yeah, we actually did that in, around the 2019 area as well. Okay, so it's been around for a little bit yeah, now. Yeah. I, I'm not sure of anyone doing it here. Um, but yeah, no, yeah. like I haven't been to an event yet yeah. that I've seen it yeah. there, but I've seen it on your know, social. Yeah. So it's obviously starting to kind of pick up. Pace. Right, right. Oh, yeah. It, it's it's starting to pick up now because because normally when you have people at a, a wedding reception, for example, you've got a big dance floor. It's concentrated. Your photographers will try to get in there and capture and take clicks of the moment. Absolutely. But even then, there's like none of that almost like them handling the camera themselves Correct. that you would see on like a, like a television show or something like that where right. they're actually grabbing the camera and moving with it. So right. this yep. kind of sounds like you're bringing it more, you're breaking the fourth wall. Absolutely. Yeah. We have, we're, we're taking it to them. And, um, so far it, it's a, it's got good feedback. Um, now I think it's you know, my challenge is to make sure that everyone sees it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's where social media comes in the handy. <laughs> Absolutely. You can see, you know, a whole variety because now it's not just one product that y'all are offering. Now you've got multiple layers within it. And I'm sure you've got it packaged out that people can get different packages right. for what they want, mix and match and everything. But even then it's, you're almost to the point. I mean, you try to put out photographers out of business here. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, and that's, that's the one thing I, I want to make sure that we don't, uh, no, they, they're, you know, we love photographers and we, you know, we, we team up with photographers as well, especially with corporate events. Um, now, we, now we do event photography. Still, there's, there's more skill in what they do than, than it's you know, tricky. It, yeah, it is tricky. Um, but yeah, we definitely don't want to step into onto any toes. And I'm by no means want to be a professional photographer or or a professional videographer. At, at, you know, there's great people in this in this uh this area that do awesome work um but we we want the entertainment part of it mm -hmm. that's that's where yeah you're you're there to, to hype up the attendance right. they're there to just capture they're there to capture you right. hyping them up you right know? right exactly exactly so it you kind of alluded to this 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 arm this slow motion arm thing yeah. walk walk us through so that yeah. next level so so now um now we've taken like still photography into so they'll stay in, in, you know, in a point, it, usually at one point, um, and it's almost just like this little mic. So okay. it would, it would, it, there's different pathways that it can go. It can go from top to bottom, from bottom to top. At the same time, it, it goes real quick. The speed of it goes real quick, but um, the output is it slows down to where any movement they do, it's just like, Climbers, <laughs> right? Yeah, so um, so we'll we'll tell them you know, like either flip your hair or pop your collar or you know, you know, just do something, just some slight movement, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll capture that in slow motion, and so and again, that's something that they'll they'll get within. You know, so they'll get a text to their phone. They get text to their okay. phone, or QR code, however they yeah. So I mean, that all this gear. It sounds like it's got to be starting to add up at some point. I mean, these are some significant pieces of technology. It is. <laughs> it is, yeah. And, um, yeah, that's the thing is uh, uh, with being it's like ahead of the curve and innovative, it you start to get, have a lot of stuff. Right. Um, now, a lot of it, well, some of it was for, you know, specific needs, you know, Client wanted the 360, or a client wanted. So we, uh, I don't know if you've seen our our um, our runway. It's a little tunnel that has the LED lights in it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that that one was specific for a client, so we were able to do that. You know, so um, so now, now you're just designing full on sets for people. Uh, somewhat. Uh, it, I don't want to say we're good. that that whole production side just makes me nervous, but almost. Okay. So like um So what about it makes you nervous? Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of pressure to get through the whole yeah, sets. Um so now then we're fabrication, you know, 
production. Well, I mean, now you're like, yeah, now you're building a whole right. scene, a whole environment. Yeah. And, and which we do, we do like to create a scene, mm -hmm. but the actual build outs, <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother level. Yeah. I, I, we did, a, I, we did a build out, um, this past week for, um, the scout guide launch party. We did, um, it's our magazine cover booth. So you, you walk in and it's, a it's a plexiglass that has, um, lettering, you know, and it can be customized and it looks like you're in a magazine, but it's an actual four wall booth. <laughs> so, okay. So it looks like you're in a magazine. Yeah. All right. Man. So, so what's okay? Walk walk me through. I'm trying to envision. Okay, this. so so it's it's you walk into this basically a box, mm -hmm. um, but the glass looks like a magazine cover. Like uh, so, uh, how so we, it's we got did the this words one and had scouted okay, and then it. had you know personalized, um, whatever on the magazine it would say like. Oh, so it, it, you could change you could you change, change it, it instantaneously. Yeah. Okay, so. So how do you how do you know how to build all this oh, stuff? Man? No, that, <laughs> that that one was a lot of trial and error for sure too. Yeah. So they were just like, we want to have a magazine. Actually, I brought that up to you. Yeah, I brought that up to them. Yeah. Um, okay, so, they, so you say you don't like all this production <laughs> stuff, but you're here well, selling all well, this production well, stuff. <laughs> well, this one was more like, okay, how can we step it up a notch? Right. Right. Yeah. That and and that it ended up being that, and I'm like, oh, well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we're here. Now. We're here again. <laughs> like they they wanted just um. Just a regular, you know, a photo, a photo op. Because for, for this guy, we got, we've done the 360 and we've done our black and white, which is real popular right now. Um, and she mentioned uh, having just a regular photo op. And it's like, how about we do, what about this? And she loved, and, you know, so it had great feedback. So. So you're really a creative photographer and a videographer <laughs> at heart. That's what I'm. That's what I'm hearing from this. You like. You almost want to create these <laughs> scenes, but it's a sense of pushing your boundaries and pushing your comfort level, yeah. which every entrepreneur has to do. Absolutely. You have to find that where am I most comfortable, and then for you, you're like, let's just go another level. Right. You know. Yeah, I'm. You know, taking risk. Um, and we've done a bunch of stuff that hadn't worked out. I mean, we had this thing where it was a swing. And it, we'd take video and, and just do it like a boomerang, but you're mm -hmm. on a swing. It was more for a garden set. But what I didn't think about was it's Louisiana. Every, <laughs> it's hot all the time. No one's going to want this thing. And it, it didn't work out. Um, you know, we've, and there's other applications that we've done that just never really caught on. So, you know, kind of pivot. So um, you're, you're designing these and testing them on like your own in a, in a warehouse like where are you testing these sets at oh garage <laughs> <laughs> love it love the garage story. the garage i mean yeah the garage yeah so um yeah that's the thing it's a lot of trial and error you know with any with any business you really gotta especially for what we do we try to do things customized uh, that that you can't just get from anyone right so well and it's not as simple as an off the rack service, right. you know, you're, right. you're sitting there trying to, again, you're innovating, right. you're bringing new tech here, you're bringing new scenery, you're bringing new entertainment right. to Baton Rouge and to Louisiana as a whole, which is really incredible. Right. I mean, you're like trying to put us ahead of the curve from a event entertainment I'd love, standpoint. Yeah, I'd love to be part of that. Yeah. So. Thank you to our wonderful sponsor, Lake Men's Health Center with our Lady of the Lake Physicians Group. Guys, I know it's tough to get out and go to the doctor. I know it's challenging to find time in our busy days, but I promise you signing up to be a part of this group with Dr. Curtis Chastain and Dr. Tyler Boudreaux, you won't regret it for several reasons, but most of those being the fact of the time it saves, where you're able to get in on the same day, get that appointment done, and spend that time you need to talk with them about what your health goals and concerns are, as well as ensuring that the financial investments you have, you will be able to live out and see those come to fruition. So if you're an investing guy, you know all about and planning for the future and investing in the future. There's no other more important thing to invest in than your health. Make sure you go check them out. Our Lady of the Lake Physicians Group Men's Health Center and tell them Patty G sent you. Anything that, you know, anything that that's new that we can be noticed for, let's do it. I'm, I'm, I'm up for the challenge, you know. Um, so yeah. what has been the biggest challenge from an event standpoint as a request or a pitch that you gave? Oh, I mean, probably the 360 at the beginning. Really? You know, no one had a clue what it was. Okay. Yeah. They Like, what does it do? And 
you know, at our price point, it was, it, it's higher, you know. Um, but then trying to get them to understand what it was. Uh, but really, it's our biggest challenge is you have to see our product mm-hmm. in in action to really to really grasp it. I can I can send you a quote, but you really don't know what it is, and that's why our website is really important. Um, our social media is important so they actually see it. So you put on paper, no clue. So that's probably the biggest challenge is getting them to understand what it is. And that's, that's okay. I like, I like trying to make them understand. Cause then once they understand, then it really takes off. So, so once the, once the 360, once they saw it and then like, Oh wow. So like our second or third uh, 360 was in Covington and um once we did that they loved it and then we really started going from there so so did you, in that moment did you find the final product was the selling point or the at event footage was the selling point like showing people use it or the product that people got it was probably the product yeah mm-hmm. because it's all shareable right and, you know um I'd probably say that because in the end, everyone wants to share. Yeah, they want they want to see what they're going to be looking at. Right. Yeah. And some people didn't get, and that's why like you have to be there to really because some people were like, "Oh, I thought I spun." (laughs) He's like, "No, uh, this thing will be swing." And then we we explain that to them. So on site, Mm -hmm. yeah, we we do kind of have to make sure that they get that and they remember that. So. Um, and that's why that's part of that experience. So, all right, it's going to be go really fast. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, th- that that is a challenge is getting them to understand the technology that we're we're bringing. This robotic arm, that that's uh, we're in the that's one of my challenges right now is like, how can I make people know what what's about to happen? Because they could see that end products like, oh, it's a slow motion. Well. It's yeah. more than that. Now you're, now you're a star. Now this thing is gonna go at you, and you got one, two seconds to, you know, make a scene, and that's it. So, so it's almost like what they did. Uh, you referenced it earlier on E, where on their social, their posts are him talking the person right. through, then showing the actual right. camera doing Going, its thing, and then you see the final then you product see the final at the product. end. So it's like you've almost got to create these demos. To right. showcase to potential customers, and that's what we do on our social. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we we our social is usually a recap of what we do. Um, we'll say, oh, it's behind the scenes, and at the very end, it's the end product. Um, you know, we try to do a little bit of a recap of the event or the reception, and then our pro like then us engaging with the guests and what they're doing, and then the end product usually. And has that always been your social strategy? Um, at the beginning, and actually, it wasn't a strategy. I didn't notice it was a strategy until I started going back. I'm like, oh, wow, we, we've been doing <laughs> this. This is all we do. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even notice. Yeah. yeah. And it and it's worked out Um, because you know, it does. It our, our social media actually helps, you know, helps um, us, you know, get customers because they were they saw it from someone that shared it. Um, from the end product or, or, or the recap or, yeah. So I, I'd say I'm a social media junkie too, just because it, it's, it helps us. So are you able to track your inquiries then to customers is what's the heaviest channel for you, I guess? Is it in person website or social? Yeah, I would say it's, it's, it's a good split, even split. Okay. Um, Google all it. I wouldn't say Google really helps for our um our corporate because they're when they're looking at corporate they they're looking up companies that can do certain things. Yeah, they're after uh, a specific. They're a specific thing, and yeah. that, that's that's how our 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 um our corporate work has been successful. Um, everything else is usually through Instagram, you know, or some type of you know TikTok or whatever they've been using because someone shared that product. You know, their their what they their output. The, the finished product. Yeah. Right. So that and um, referrals, personal referrals have been our biggest thing. 
referrals is huge. <laughs> well, yeah, I yeah. mean, referrals yeah. and being at the event. Right. Where and then connecting are. with the people there. Yeah. Uh, that's that's huge. Um, I think that's a big part of it. Oh, yeah, well, they, they can see it. They can live it. They can experience yeah. it. So it makes sense. Yeah. So what's on the horizon, man? Oh, just keep on. Just keep on, uh, you know, keep on innovating and bringing whatever we can to, to this area and just helping it grow, really. Um, doing, a, doing a lot more um, corporate work with, within the, the city and uh, it's just helping them out in their marketing strategy. You know, I don't, I don't like to say we're, you know, marketers, but we do help with that. And yeah, I mean, you can be a big piece of somebody's yeah. marketing plan, yeah. you know? Yeah, we, I mean, we, you know, we do a lot of stuff. We did, you know, stuff with LSU and Take 5, you know, a couple of weeks ago with their marketing strategy. We were able to, you know, do email campaigns and however they need, you know, we can get as creative with them. I love it. So, yeah. So before we get you out of here, we have a set list of questions we ask every guest. Okay. Very hard hitting questions. Oh, all right. All right. Hold on. Let me get some water. Yeah, here. Take take a deep breath. <laughs> relax. You know, it's gonna be very very intense stuff. <laughs> so we're gonna kick it off with self reflection. Okay. What is something you did as a kid you wish you could still do today? Something I did as a kid. Huh. In in anything or Any, just what, anything anything. Something you did, you have grew up doing, you loved doing as a kid, that you were like, man, if only I could still do that today. Oh, that, that's tough. <laughs> that is a tough one. <laughs> well, uh, let, let's stick to somewhat of what we're... Um, being in front of the camera. Being in front of the camera, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, as a kid, I was always in front of the camera. Uh, you know, what, Doing what? Who knows? <laughs> we were TikTok before TikTok. <laughs> oh my gosh! Me and my cousins, we would we would take the video camera and just do, uh, like videos of us it. acting like we're singing or dancing to like boys to men and all. <laughs> oh, it was, and we were doing things like yeah, that was, we were, were the original. <laughs> um, yeah, just being for and just so in um comfortable in front of the camera. Um, yeah, I mean. Now it's just kind of like, oh gosh, don't know why. Uh, I was just more comfortable back then. I guess as we get older, we get a little bit more self conscious and self aware yeah. of like, okay, there's a camera in front right. of me. Right, right. We know whether it's consciously or subconsciously, <laughs> somebody could take this and post it somewhere. And Especially now. Good or bad or ugly. Right. So no, I get that. Yeah. yeah, my my wife and I joke that we invented Snapchat because we used to only just like text pictures and stuff back and forth <laughs> right. for like days. <laughs> And so we're like, we then Snapchat came out. And we were, she was like, we invented that. I was like, I don't think we did, but you know, we, we had clearly there was a reason as to why it became so successful. Right, right. Oh yeah. Oh for sure. <laughs> so you've been in this industry for quite some time, be, being a, a registered nurse and totally just doing a hard three, like one eighty, and mm. going in the total opposite direction. What are like three lessons that you've learned along your career, whether it be in the nursing side or the photography entrepreneur side? I would say uh, three lessons. Um, don't don't be afraid to take risk. Um, I think a lot of people, especially during COVID or after COVID, um, which for, for good reason, you know, people were scared to make jumps, you know, because you never know what could happen. But I think you know, for me, it worked out because now I really love what I do. I really love being part of someone's event and just, you know, entertaining and engaging with people um, and, you know, taking risk in, well, you know, this product might not work, but let's let's keep on and see what does work and um, where it could take us. Um, so definitely taking you know don't be afraid to take risk um let's see what was that again <laughs> three lessons we've got so, learn, be okay uh, with taking risks okay um making mistakes is part of it and and just uh just learning to grow from that um you know in the beginning as any entrepreneur you you're going to make mistakes. You're going to not know a lot of stuff. Um, but, you know, connecting with people um, and learning from them 
is is a big part of that. Um, I think whether that was uh, even in nursing, uh, you know, I met so many people and took care of so many people. Um, just making those connections um, really helped help me grow. Mm-hmm. Um, whether it was you know, people that were sick, you know, you, you learn a lot about yourself. Um, in business, you learn a lot. You really learn about yourself because you're building this thing from the ground up. Um, you know, so you you go through you know good and bad times. You know, COVID definitely was part of that. You know, um, but you just keep on. If you just keep on doing it, yeah, you, you grow. You learn to grow. Um, and then the last part, I would say marketing is key. 100%. I think marketing is such so underrated that, or not focused a lot on when it's actually probably your number one thing for growth. Oh yeah. Um, I would say, I mean, I, I learned that, you know, like, wish I would have done that earlier. <laughs> I just focus more on that. But yeah. Um, well, you gotta be able to tell your story so people can understand what it is that you either do or sell. Right. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. yeah. So what do you love about Baton Rouge? The, this is the people. Um, like I said, the connections, like it's, so I was, um, I grew up in a small town in you know, Flint, Louisiana. So, um, it's almost like a big, small town where it, it, it's a lot of people, but you know, you, you find to connect with, with a lot of people, a lot of people that you didn't even realize, Yeah, you know, you're only one step away. Um, and I think that, you know, through those connections, um, it can help you can help you in so many ways um and that's what i love is like it's it has a small town feel but so many people here yeah so i've I've always tell people it's like a little big town you know where to your point you hit it dead on if you need to get in touch with somebody it's likely just one connection away that's it yeah and it's so easy to do it here to find opportunity here to get out there and make a name for yourself in Baton Rouge or even in Louisiana as a whole, right. you can do it and it's possible to get it done here. Right. All you have to do is be willing to ask somebody a question, you That's know, it. and be willing to take no. Right. Um, and move on and keep going. Right. You know, you got to get yourself back up from that first no and just keep pressing on till you find the yes, essentially. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's, what's great is that, um, and I think a lot of people, especially in Baton Rouge, you know, a lot of people know a lot of people from when they went to school or, you know, from this club or whatnot. And, you know, there are, there's so many inter- interpersonal, you know, connections. And um, and there's always more room for Baton Rouge or just Louisiana General to grow. Oh, yeah. You know, that's what's great is that although, yeah, we may be a little bit, but that's, that's just the potential that we have. And uh, I think that's great. Yeah. You know, we have the ability to keep growing and keep taking it to other levels and heights. Yeah. So for the final question, man, what can I do to help you? I think you've done it, man. Uh, I just I keep doing this and, you know, um, reaching out to local businesses, small businesses, and this is great. You know, I think this is perfect, actually. <laughs> I got you behind the camera, man. <laughs> I know, I know. I, and I, yeah, I, I was kind of nervous about that, and uh, so – Crush oh. dude. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Well, I appreciate man. you having me. Uh, this, is every, this is great. Absolutely. Appreciate so. your time today and look forward to seeing more of your stuff at future events. Oh, you know? absolutely. Seeing what else you can create <laughs> in the sure. pipeline. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate so, it. Thank you, man. Thank you, everybody else, for listening or watching whatever platform you're consuming us on. If you're looking for another level to your corporate event or your wedding or whatever festivities, festivities that you've got planned, be sure to reach out to them. Let them know you heard about them on the Patty G Show. And just go check out their social media. Like, look at what they do. It's phenomenal. Go out there, check them out, book them, get them, and have a good time. Y'all, Patty G, host of the Patty G Show. We'll see you on the next one.